Welcome to Burning Feet Adventures. Enjoy part 4 of our off-road journey from Greece to the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia. After heavy thunderstorms hit us on day 12, we took shelter in Bybord, an historic city on the old Silk Road that had already been traveled by Marco Polo. More thunderstorms were predicted for the next three weeks, covering this area and all the way east to the high Caucasus mountains in Georgia. So we decided to stay for one more night in Bybord, unpack the bikes and explore the area around the famous D915 that is supposed to be one of the world's most dangerous roads. Ich hab keinen Weg rum rumgefunden. 
Aber der Ausblick von da war genial runter ins Tal.
people named it the highway to hell. For me, the D915 is just another challenge to overcome on our way to Georgia. The Russians built this road that is 107 km long, running north to south from Baibor to Ov, a small coastal town in the Black Sea region near Trabzon. It starts and ends with Tarmik, but the most challenging section starts north of the village Karakom and is made up of loose gravel and should not be traveled or entered in rainy weather. is a nice and scenic road, but compared to the other off-road sections we did in Turkey, it's not a big challenge, just to be honest.
there were still too many snowfields blocking the Trans Zero Trail roads in the higher mountains. It would have been taking us days to find alternatives to get around the dead ends. Time we didn't have. So we decided to travel on minor paved roads in some easy Ted parts to the border of Georgia. The plan was to do the missing sections of the Ted Turkey on our way back from Georgia to Greece. Finger crossed that the snow will be melted by then. Schlägt sogar die Linse. Guck mal, beschlagene Linse. Ja, <lacht> hey, guck mal gar nicht hin, du bist ein Nutella-Boy. three border crossings from Turkey to Georgia. One is at the Black Sea at Sarpi, one at Turgutsu and the third one is further south located near Sildir. Unfortunately, nowhere was mentioned that the border at Turgutsu is under heavy construction work and closed for all kinds of traffic. The border police was very friendly. We had a chat about our journey, the bikes and they gave us directions to the next open border crossing near Sildir. On our way back, we picked up another Tenere 700 rider from Germany and he joined us to the other border. Das waren der Höhlenforscher. Einer von den uralten Doktorhöhlen, weißt du, wo die übernachtet haben hier. Und? Unten kann man von da reinkrabbeln, wo du jetzt gerade bist. Ah. Da muss ich erstmal das Auge dran gewöhnen hier, hier ist ja alles dunkel. Was willst du da drin? Fehl da mal so ein? Man merkt, dass du kein Abenteurer bist. Du, das ist nicht so anstrengend. Du musst die Größe reinkommen. Uh. <lacht>
Hi guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.